Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. Starting off with business sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. A source tells us the announcement of a major car race taking place not on a racetrack, but on the Las Vegas Strip is, quote, eminent. We're talking about a Formula One event. Discussions between local and F1 officials have reportedly been happening since last year. Aside from the lure of having a race on the Las Vegas Strip, uh, the infrastructure along the Strip um, kind of plays into it as well. Um, several pedestrian bridges across the, the Las Vegas Boulevard, so that offers prime viewing spots for spectators. Uh, would, you know, kind of save the trouble of the Formula One having to build out uh, spectator stands here in Las Vegas. Since the 2022 F1 schedule is already set, the earliest the race could take place is 2023. And the water park in the Southwest Valley, Wet n Wild, gets a splashy new name and logo. Five, four, three, two, one. Wet n Wild is now an affiliate of Cowabunga Bay in Henderson, and it'll reopen with its new name Cowabunga Canyon in May. With these two parks com uh, combining together into one organization, we now have a unique opportunity that we can leverage, allowing our guests to purchase one pass for $89.99 and allow them entrance into both facilities unlimited times throughout the entire summer. More than a thousand people will be hired to work this summer at both parks. In other top stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. To address the affordable housing crisis, the Las Vegas City Council approves a plan to develop affordable housing over the city-owned Desert Pines Golf Club. This mixed-use plan calls for not only residential homes, but commercial, civic, and education facilities, including a College of Southern Nevada Workforce Development Training Center in East Las Vegas. In North Las Vegas, police are investigating a shooting that left one man dead. Officers were called this morning to Boulder Bay Street near 5th Street and Lone Mountain Road. They reportedly found a man in his 20s who was pronounced dead at the scene. Now to a correction from CCSD police about someone they nicknamed Party Time Tina. Their Facebook post had suggested a woman was arrested for DUI and speeding over 90 miles an hour in a school zone. CCSD police say actually a 28-year-old man was arrested on suspicion of DUI in one school zone and another person was cited for speeding in a separate school zone. That quote, it sounded as if it was one stop when it was actually two. That post has since been taken down. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your gardens partner for every blooming thing. In the West Coast, did you know this spring is expected to be hotter than normal and drier? NOAA meteorologists say the lack of rain in combination with the high heat will extend the ongoing drought. In more immediate future, we're looking at another clear night with temps tapering from the 70s to the 50s around midnight. If you're heading out this weekend, pack on extra hairspray. On Saturday, the temps will peak at 78 degrees with 15 to 20 mile per hour winds. On Sunday, winds will be around 25 miles per hour before dwindling down to the teens on Monday. Then you can look forward to blue skies. Plus, breaking in sports brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. Raiders fans are excited about some major news for the team. Review Journal's Cassie Soto joins us from the Raiders tent sale at Allegiant Stadium. In a blockbuster trade, the Raiders have acquired the top wide receiver in the league in Devontae Adams, and Raider Nation cannot wait for him to take the field. And it tells Raider Nation that they're ready to win now. They are investing now. Uh, we have this beautiful stadium in this wonderful city, and, and uh, they're not going to hold back, and we're excited about that. Yeah. Heard the Devontae Adams, and I started doing the, we got Devontae Adams, we got Devontae Adams. <laughs> what is it, no, yeah. no risk, no reward? Yeah. So you have to kind of risk it, and, and I think going for him, it shows the new leadership. This is the best wide receiver. Green Bay ought to be ashamed of themselves. You know they're crying right now. So all your Green Bay fans, like Stephen A. Smith would say, we would just look at you. I hope you all are ready because he's with us now. Go Raiders. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm Cassie Soto. 
in Entertainment, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada. BTS may be smooth like butter, and now they're as sweet as donuts. The popular Asian boy band will perform in Vegas in April. To celebrate, St. Honoré is creating a special donut. It's one of those foods that combines pop culture references, flavor, and um, visual appeal for the internet. The donut is filled with banana milk cream and purple icing, BTS's signature color. In Lifestyle, the Metro Police Department Foundation is honoring several female leaders for Women's History Month. Review Journal's Renee Summerauer introduces us to two managers. Renee. Jen, they didn't attend a police academy and their badges don't say detective, but two managers are using science and data to help the Nevada's largest law enforcement agency solve every type of crime. They are Kim Murga and Gina Fackrell. Murga, director of laboratory services for Metro Crime Lab, oversees 80 employees who use fingerprints, DNA, and blood work to investigate about 24,000 cases a year. In 2021, Metro's crime lab used DNA to identify suspects in three cold cases. Meanwhile, Fackrell, manager of the crime analysis section of Metro's Central Intelligence Unit, is responsible for all crime data, statistics, and crime analytics. She uses results to discuss crime fighting strategies and crime prevention techniques. We um, solve cases. I mean, there's so many people that unfortunately are victims of crime. I mean, we all live here in this community, right? So we all want it to be the safest community we, can, we have. So we take that into consideration, which is why we process all crimes. The Las Vegas Metro Police Department Foundation is a nonprofit organization. It raises funds to support Metro's programs and initiatives. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The 13 seed UNLV women's basketball team is a 12 and a half point underdog to four seed Arizona at Caesar Sportsbook in their NCAA tournament game Saturday night in Tucson. The Lady Rebels are eight to one underdogs on the money line to win the game outright. The total is 131 and a half. In other women's action Saturday, number one seed North Carolina State is a 38 point favorite over Longwood, and number two seed Connecticut is a 29 and a half point favorite over Mercer. In health, it's all to help COVID patients with weakened immune systems. For a limited time, the American Red Cross is resuming testing for all COVID antibody donations. The antibodies can be used as part of treatments for cancer patients, trauma victims, and those with blood disorders. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you have Amazon Fire TV, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you Monday for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.